Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and do another little vlog. Um, if you guys don't know, there was a racist ass hospital employee. Um, basically, she took the Facebook to go off on Black Lives Matter. She talked a bunch of shit and now she has been fired for her words. And this is coming out of Philly. This is what Diane had to say. She says they should have bulldozed the Black Lives Matter protest at 24th and 25th district last night disgraceful and for all the police officers who have worked amongst these troublemakers you deserve all the praise in the world especially the officer who stood there while that fat braided hair piece of shit troublemaker ranted so despicably in your face you sir deserve a medal for letting her continue to make an ass of herself and showing what a low life she really is and you were strong kudos to the philly pd Blacks kill each other every day, all day long, and it's okay with them. Why no protest when Jamal kills Khalif? Well, I'm white, and I'm proud to be white. White lives matter. Police officers' lives matter. Keep your circus in your town and neighborhood. Get a life, an honest job. Raise your kids to be productive citizens. I am sick and tired of this bullshit with black people. If you don't like my post, then delete me as your friend. When she wrote that, honey, black folks took to her job... Let her job know. And within 24 hours, this white woman was fired, okay? I don't agree with her post at all. And I'm happy that she was fired because if you're that disrespectful and you have that much hatred towards, you know, black folks, you're not gonna, you know, provide the best care for black people in your care when they come to your hospital, okay? But what I find funny with this situation, and this is why I always say the hypocrisy of the internet is real, especially when it comes to some black folks, honey. Now, when I did my video the other day about the black woman, um, Kaylin, who was suspended for saying that, you know, she felt like the Dallas shooter was a martyr and that she doesn't feel bad for the police officer's family. When I called her out and I said that that was wrong, you guys can go in the comment section. There's a lot of black folks in the comment section. You know, I had to block a lot of black folks too, honey. So there's a lot of comments you're not going to see because, again, I was called coons and bedwinches and I'm a scary black bitch. And, you know, I'm just scary. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. First of all, let me set some of y'all straight. Ranting about, you know, fuck the police and fuck the white man and fuck these crackers doesn't make you any more pro-black. Having common sense and logic and saying that you should keep your emotions off social media does not mean that you're scared of the police, does not mean that you're scared of the white man any more than ranting and calling this man a martyr makes you pro-black, okay? That logic to me is so stupid. If you say you shouldn't do something, you should think twice, you sh that doesn't make you scared of anybody. Just like if you say go out here and kill all the police, that doesn't make you bought that life. Because nine times out of ten, you're just part of the Twitter finger brigade that I do not take seriously. You know, everybody on Twitter is about that life until they're forced to log off the internet and go into the real world, okay? So I find it funny that these same black folks who were knocking me for condemning that black woman and her actions, you know, and not feeling bad for her getting suspended, these same folks are now happy that this white woman was fired and they're saying that she's a racist and she deserved to be fired. So by y'all's logic, could people not say, well, she was emotional. She was sticking up for her own people. Do you guys understand where I'm coming from when I say you can't say one thing, but then when another race does it, now the sudden y'all are behind this woman getting fired. But when the black woman did it and I said, you know what, she was wrong for that. I was called a coon and a bed wench and I was told that I'm just a scary ass bitch for not standing behind this black woman. And she wasn't even fired. She was just suspended. Okay. 
To me, they were both in the wrong. The black woman, Kaylin, was wrong, and this white woman was wrong, okay? Again, keep your damn emotions in check. If you have something to lose, you should not be on Facebook ranting and raving. If this white woman really felt this way, her ass should have called her friends, called her mama, called somebody in her family and spoke to them directly to let them know her feelings. Just like that black woman. If she felt that type of way and she was very upset, she should have reached out to a friend. She should have called one of her friends and spoke to them, you know what I'm saying, and, and ranted and vented to them as opposed to taking it to Facebook. The problem is too many people, like I said in the comment section in my YouTube video about Kaylin, too many people feel like they need validation off of social media. Too many people go to social media looking for therapy, a pat on the back, and validation. This white woman did the same thing that that black woman did. She went to Facebook looking for validation, looking for thumbs ups, looking for likes. And when it was all said and done, her dumb ass lost her job. When you have things to lose, you need to think twice about what you post on social media. And that was my point in that video about Kaylin. She obviously had a lot to lose because within 48 hours, she was on the news backtracking, saying, well, I didn't mean to say that. He's not really a martyr. And you know, I do feel bad for the police. I don't condone it. I don't consider him a hero. And I think it's really important important for people to realize that I don't canonize him. I don't consider him a hero. I don't advocate what the killing of innocent him? people regardless of their color or their lifestyle. I consider him a killer. I consider him a frustrated, angry person who decided to take the law into his own hands. So she obviously didn't mean that shit. She was obviously overly emotional, and that's why I say you need to think. Now, if you don't have nothing to lose and you living in your mama's basement and she's paying your rent, then feel free to rant all day about, you know, how the white man's the devil. Feel free to rant all day about how you hate all niggers. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you racist white people live in y'all's mom's basements as well. So yeah, if you have nothing to lose, feel free to rant all day. But realize with those rants and you running your mouth and saying certain things, there's ramifications. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there's freedom of speech, but there's also ramifications for your so-called freedom of speech. And that's what people need to do is stop and think. And that's all I was saying in that video. People need to stop and think regardless if you're black or white. Everything that you feel, everything that runs across your mind does not need to be posted on social media especially if you cannot stand behind what the hell you post on social media once confronted by other people once it goes mainstream once it goes you know public if you can't stand by it then you need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up because now this same white woman who was ranting and raving about black folks and all this and she's you know pro-white and you know she's proud to be white now, she's singing the same song and dance that Caitlyn was singing. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I was emotional. I was going through a lot of things. You know, it's not fair that I was fired. So now she's saying the same thing. So again, we can't be hypocritical. You can't stand behind one person being emotional and saying that that's okay for her to be emotional. But then this white lady saying the same thing, that she was emotional and she's going through a lot, you know, whatever, whatever. And now it's off with her head. Fuck her. It's the same thing. Both these women made poor decisions. They both got ramifications for that. Now, with that being said, one of my subscribers, uh, Minnie, she sent me a story yesterday. And basically, the story goes is that several people have been arrested for things that they're posting on Facebook. I am correct in my stance. You need to watch what you write on Facebook because they are definitely arresting people. And we all know when it comes to black folks, honey, they have no problem arresting black people first and foremost. All these people happen to be black. So now basically the issue is... Can people be arrested for freedom of speech? You know, it's a slippery slope when people are being arrested for things that they say. So what happened is that last weekend in Connecticut, a police officer arrested a man named Kirk Van Coots after a tip from a post that he posted on Facebook. He stated on Facebook that he identified um, Johnson as a hero and he also called for the police to be killed. A woman in Illinois, her name is Genesis Reynolds, she was arrested after writing on Facebook. Um, she basically said that if she was pulled over, I have no problem shooting a cop for a simple traffic stop because they'd have no problem doing it to me. So when she um, wrote that on Facebook, she was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. In New Jersey, a young man named Rolando Medina was arrested and charged with cyber harassment after he posted on, on social media basically saying that he would destroy a local police headquarters in Louisiana. So what happened with this situation? He took to Facebook and basically proclaimed um, Micah X. Johnson a hero and he was promptly arrested. So now he's took into Facebook and basically this is what this young man is saying. He's saying, I'm home. 
Thank you all for the love and concern. I'm not aware that my page is being monitored. I had no idea a Facebook post would lead to the police banging on my door and surrounding my house with assault rifles drawn in the middle of the night. Questions were thrown at me. Intelligence were thrown right back. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone with this. So yeah, he was promptly detained. So that's all I was saying in my other, you can feel how you want to feel. At the end of the day, nobody can tell anybody how to feel. If you want to feel like this man is some type of martyr and hero to you, that's on you. But you need to think twice before you post shit on social media because people are getting arrested and would never send them in the wrong direction and say, just post what you want to say. Who cares? No, you need to care because at the end of the day, they're quick to arrest a black child for posting some stuff and then getting you a criminal record. And if you get a felony for something, you know, you, that's like a life sentence right there. You know, having a felony on your record really affects you forever. So that's what I'm saying. Just think before you do certain things. If you're going through something, if you're emotional, if you're upset, talk to a family member, talk to people off of social media. You know, back in the day when you had a problem, you caught your friends, you caught your parents, you caught your aunt, you caught your uncle. You didn't take to social media because there was no social media. So folks need to get back to that. If you want to have discussions and you want to be upset and you want to, you know, hail this man a hero, have those discussions off of Facebook. Be smart about the situation. If you want to be racist and you hate all black people and you feel some type of way about Black Lives Matter, then you need to be smart and have those discussions discussions off of Facebook because if you post some shit on Facebook and your ass gets arrested you get in trouble I don't feel bad for you how many people have been arrested gotten in trouble gotten fired from posting shit on social media this is nothing new but it's funny that when it happens to a black person you know all of a sudden that's so wrong but when it happens to a white person it's okay and that's what I'm not going to do is be on this hypocritical bullshit ass bandwagon. That's the bandwagon I'm not going to jump on because I see people just wishy-washy from day to day. Do y'all see why I don't take people on social media seriously? At the end of the day, my YouTube audience, the folks who fuck with me, the folks who like my content, the only thing I say to y'all is to just use common sense, you know what I'm saying, and realize that there's a world outside of social media that we have to deal with each other. We have to deal with different races, different genders, different sexual orientations in the real world. So we need to be smart about the things that we do on and offline, point blank, period. I will not make excuses. I will not apologize for my feelings. I will not, you know, y'all call me what y'all want to call me. It is what it is. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all who are talking all this nonsense online, are not going to do a damn thing in the real world. And that's the truth of the matter. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you feel about this woman getting fired from her job? Um, do you guys agree that she should be fired? Because I definitely agree that she should be fired for her comment. And then how do you feel about folks now getting arrested for posting certain things online, you know, hailing the shooter a hero? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.